From time to time, I get asked what my favorite supplement or superfood is to take, so that's what this video is about. Hello, Kindred Longevity Lifestyle Designers. This is Zach here with Secrets of Longevity.com. Aphanazomenon flossiqua is a unique species of algae that grows in Klamath Lake, Oregon. It's a blue-green algae, and one of the best companies that's harvesting it is named E3 Live, and that stands for Earth's Essential Elements. So that's the E3, and then it's live because it's been frozen. As far as I know, it's the only company that's offering it frozen as opposed to dried, but they do have the dried product as well where they take the algae and dry it, much like you'd get spirulina or chlorella dried in a powder. So the unique thing about this algae is, compared to the other types of edible algae on the market, is that it has a very high um, amount of minerals in it. And this is due to the rich volcanic crater that the lake is formed in, the richness of the minerals in that crater and also the glaciers that feed the lake and then there's also obviously springs as well and because it's so mineral dense and gets so much sun the majority of the year, there's very little cloud cover the algae has evolved a very thin, thin cell wall um, be just so that it can take in these nutrients so easily it doesn't need to have um, the robustness in the sense of hardiness and uh, tough outer shell that chlorella has, spirulina has basically most wild plants have and so this makes it very easily digestible, very easily absorbable and um, it's fostered that those benefits because of that. There's also some other unique properties about this in comparison to spirulina and chlorella. I'm not going to say it's better than spirulina or chlorella but if we were to go for overall benefits of any one of the algae, personally I'd put a phanazone on flosaqua at the top. Um, if you want specifically detoxifying was your strategy at the moment, then chlorella might be a little bit higher because it's higher in chlorophyll. If you wanted protein and some other unique things about spirulina, then that would be the top choice. But for overall benefits, in my opinion, the clam flake algae does top the other two. And that is because it has some unique phytochemicals, one of them being phenylethylamine, which is PEA for short. And this is only found in two foods that we know of at this point. It's a very unique compound that is uh, known as the love molecule because it's also produced in our brain when we have those feelings of being in love. And uh, chocolate seems to have that property if it's raw because it's a very delicate molecule that can be degraded by heat easily. So the great thing with E3 Live is it's raw, you're getting it frozen and it's undamaged in that sense. You're also getting it in the dried products as well if they're dried properly and well. E3 Live does have its own unique drying process which is probably a standard above other companies out there um, but in my opinion it's definitely worthwhile getting the fresh and frozen uh, product as opposed to the dried product. If you're traveling a lot, yes the dried is much handier in that sense. So you've got the PEA, you've also got the phycocyanin which is also in the blue pigments. So these two things are found in the blue pigments mostly. The phycocyanin is also in spirulina because spirulina is a blue-green algae but Klamath Lake algae is much higher in these blue pigments and both of these blue pigments are very specific for brain health, uh, combating depression, elevating mood, basically balancing the motions in any way that you might require. It's also great for anyone that's wanting to study a lot, you know, students, any job or pursuit, athletic endeavor that requires really good focused attention. Athletes use it for increased um, muscle or hand-eye coordination, muscle response time and uh, yeah it's very popular among a number of uh, well-known people as well they talk about it on occasion if you pay attention to uh, the health talkings of certain celebrities and other sort of very successful people you tend to see that wordy through life thrown in there here and there it's kind of interesting to see that people really get good results with this one product and because it's got such a diverse array of minerals and vitamins, it's sort of a multivitamin in and of itself. Um, the straight E3 Live, which is the basically just taken out, purified, gotten rid of the other elements in the water and taken some of the water out, and then they've frozen that. There's no intense heat, there's no uh, breaking open the cell walls that's needed. It's just taken like that, made to make sure that it's clean. And by the way, the lake is very clean. It's a lake that has 
uh, no cottages and rogue motorboats going around on it. It's really high elevated. People aren't going there to just have a vacation. It's used pretty much exclusively for harvesting. At least the one area of the lake is where the algae blooms every year. So as I was saying, the E3 Live that is straight is got sort of that balance of the green pigments along with the blue pigments. And it really is something that you can take daily in a one ounce serving or so. I'm going to just do maybe a half an ounce here. <clears throat> so I drank it so that you can see the color of it against the side of the glass. It's got a very green tinge to it. <clears throat> but if you were to isolate the blue pigments, which they've done in some of their other products, you get a darker turquoise product. So the, as the blue pigments go up, it's got more of the brain boosting factors, which are wonderful for your health. And that can be more specifically used for, like, like I was saying, the mental acuity improvement. Um, I like the straight E3 Lab just for its overall whole body tonic benefits. And then I use the brain on, on occasion for, you know, when I really need to sit down and cram a lot of information into my mind or I'm doing any sort of uh, deep intellectual work or even presenting in front of an audience is a good thing to be able to take. And two products that they have, one is Brain On, which looks like the same bottle except it says Brain On at the bottom there. And what they've done is taken some of the blue pigments away from the green side of the algae and then added it back into a separate batch. So you've got about double the amount of blue pigment they would have in an equivalent size bottle of the regular E3 Live in this. Just a little bit more expensive, like maybe $5 or more. And then they also have the Brain On Supreme, which is four times as concentrated in the blue pigments. And there's not a huge difference in color, but you definitely feel a difference when you take it. E3 Live is one of the only products that I've ever taken where almost every time I feel an immediate effect. It's like a mental clarity opens up. There's a, obviously an alkalinity that hits the blood and helps purify any sort of stress or any buildup of anything in there that you want to clear out and sort of balance. And just the enzyme potential and all the concentrated uh, components and constituents that are in the algae get going right away because they're in that liquid form as well when you're taking it live. What I also wanted to show you today was some of the powdered brain on, which is the isolated, more so the blue pigments. And as you can see here, it's not as easy to see through the jar, but if you pull it out here, you can see this. I don't know if it's visible in the camera or not, but it's kind of a silvery blue color or a very bluish turquoise. So I'm going to go close so you can see that. We're going to add about a teaspoon to some water I have down here. So I wouldn't normally add it to this much water, but it tends to get fairly dark. So I'm going to add it to more water than I would normally do. I'd probably add maybe a, a teaspoon to a cup or a cup and a half of water. This is about almost a liter of water. We'll just put that in. And it makes an incredible color for the water. Really deep turquoise. Of course it gets stuck to the sides of it. I'm going to put the lid on and give it a little shake. Even this got it pretty dark. And there'll be little chunks in there that you can break up with a spoon, but you can also throw it into a smoothie, blend it up, and then you don't have to worry about getting those last few bits that you don't totally mix in. So here we have it. It's darker than I even meant it to be, but that's still, you can see, beautiful color. It's also one of the more pleasing flavors I find, even when it's got the concentrated blue pigments. It's kind of a, to me it tastes like lettuce juice, like if you were to juice romaine lettuce or a really mild green. It's got that green flavor of course, and it's not going to be sweet or taste like chocolate, but it's got a much more pleasant flavor than chlorella and spirulina in my opinion by a long shot. And uh, yeah, it's a great thing to add in small amounts every day. If you're more active or you're really in a position, whether it's athletic, business, or a student, where you need to be taking more of it, you can definitely do more of the E3 Live. I find with the brain on, you want to kind of stay around that ideal dosage. If you keep going higher than that, perhaps you might find you're fine with it, but personally, I can't go higher than one or two tablespoons of brain on at a time, otherwise I get a, almost like there's too much blood flow to my head and it just feels a little spacey, but that might be exactly what you need in your unique situation for a period of time, and uh, you just have to go with your own feeling and work with it like that. In the comments below, let me know if you've ever used E3 Live or Climate Lake Algae, what your response was to it, uh, what benefits you got from it, 
whether you continue to use it. And you can also check below for a link in the drop down menu to the E3 Live website so you can order some yourself. You generally have to order a larger quantity if you're ordering it um, from the site because they can't ship it frozen and uh, you want to have a couple in there so that they all keep each other cold and it arrives still frozen. If it doesn't melt, you just throw it back in the freezer. You can um, melt and refreeze it a couple times, but when you're actually using it at home, the ideal thing is to have it in your freezer. You can either thaw the whole thing, pour it into ice cube tray, one or two ice cube trays, and refreeze them, and then you just pop one out at a time. Every day you take one ice cube and water or juice or on its own. And the other possibility is to thaw a little bit every day by pulling it out, putting it in lukewarm water, like a container that would submerge it. A little bit will melt at the sides. You pour that into a tablespoon, take that, then put the rest in the freezer so it hasn't actually completely thawed. The other thing to do is to thaw a decent amount of it, put it into a container, put that container in the fridge and just have enough for a week tops. And then you're not continually re thawing the whole thing and refreezing it because that will sort of, you'll lose the vitality of it. Starts to get a bit chunky and strange. So, yeah, like and favorite the video, and I'll talk to you later. Take care and embrace life without limits. I wanted to add that in the 1960s and 70s, there was a lot of uh, talk around the possible toxicity or neurotoxicity of AFA, specifically Afanazamamon flossiqua. And there actually is several different types of subspecies within that uh, type of algae. Um, now specifically the Klamath Lake algae was not the ones that this uh, research on possible toxicity came from. It was actually, the scientific literature described a non-typical algae that did not um, bond together in terms of growing in large clumps, whereas that's not uh, how the Klamath Lake algae AFA grows. They also later found that those types of algae that were studied were genetically dissimilar to the clam flake algae and it was even possibly a different um, species altogether and it might have not even been an AFA, it was possibly a Anabena species, not up on my different species of algae and what they all different ones mean except for perhaps the edible ones. So that's just the result of that research at that time. I know a lot of this sort of fear has continued on in some people's minds and I do occasionally get people say to me, oh well, Climate like algae has been found to be toxic, or the blooms were toxic. Uh, but E3 Alive has probably the best um, harvesting technology of any other companies that are harvesting the AFA. And it's able to actually pick up the AFA but not the other forms of algae, because there can be some toxic forms of algae that grow in the lake or other regions of the lake, but they only harvest from one area when at the peak of the bloom, and then they have ways of not picking up the other types. And then, of course, they also test it, their uh, product, so that it doesn't uh, have impurities getting into it. Basically, over 10 years of testing, uh, no one's found toxic uh, or neurotoxic compounds or factors that come from uh, this algae.